All right, so, Campbell, let me open my notes real quick and then let's get to this. Uh, what kind of kid would you describe yourself as? Every day he gets up and he's glad to be here. Every day he wakes up in the morning and he's got a smile on his face. We should all be like that. I mean, I know I wake up grumpy sometimes and I'm like, man, I just want an extra hour of sleep. I've never heard that from Campbell. His bravery is always inspiring because he stands up to anything, even if it's the toughest challenge. He stands up to it and he faces it. A lot of people have just helped me, so I've wanted to give back, so by helping out um, and doing that. I mean, he is an amazing little boy. He has so much to give everybody else. He never thinks about himself. He's always out there to help somebody else. Everything he does is to just do better than he possibly can. In school, I mean, he's an online school. Instead of striving to get, you know, just a 90%, he strives to get hundreds. Campbell was born a month plus early. And day four, when we took him to the pediatrician's office, he had lost over 15% of his body weight, which is not normal. Um, the doctor was very concerned and diagnosed our son with his first illness called failure to thrive. And as a mom who's had three other kids, your heart shatters because babies are supposed to get fat, they're supposed to get bubbly, and my son was shrinking. Mitochondrial is kind of like a battery and most people have like a, a really strong battery and I have a very like empty powered battery. I have to wear braces on my legs. I wear a feeding tube because I can't really gain weight. It, it's, it's done a bunch to affect you but you just kind of have to overcome it. As a mom, it's devastating to go through a illness and then the doctors give you these big grand words called no cure. There's no cure for mitochondrial disease. Campbell's illnesses are life, life threatening. They are three terminal illnesses, mitochondrial disease, gastroparesis, and muscular dystrophy. There's no cures for any of those. And those are all life ending. We got a call in April of last year and I looked at my cell phone and it said make a wish. And I'm like, whoa answered the phone and they says, we'd like to talk to you about your son, Campbell. I went on a Make-A-Wish to Wrigley Field to see the Chicago Cubs play and everybody just contributed and have done so much for me that on the flight back I said to my mom that I wanted to start my own charity. You're on your way home from a Make-A-Wish and he's like, I want to have a charity. And my husband and I looked at each other like, oh my gosh, this is nuts. And we came home, called a couple lawyers, and within two months, Campbell had a charity. He put his World Series jersey up for sale and sold it for $5,000. And the first 40 homeless kids were going shopping for Christmas. We're also wanting to take like other groups of children that don't have very much shopping during the year to also get clothes because it's not just all in December that they need them. He's like, he's empowered it. He has no fears about asking people for money to help his kids. And that's what he calls them, his kids. He always lives to pray for somebody else, even when he's having a bad day. Our motto for Campbell's Crew Cares is just giving hope and then never give up. I think he's been pretty positive in his whole, his whole mindset. Anytime that there's something hard, just think of fun stuff that you've gotten to do. So my hope for the future is that Campbell can have a cure. And as long as Campbell's doing what he's doing, he's changing lives. I mean, he's my inspiration. He's my hero. I gave birth to my hero. Not many people can do that. I did. I gave birth to my hero. Notice what people have done for you and acknowledge and just say thank you to people and just look what else like people are doing to help give back and really inspires you to give more and give more and give more.